Hey guys, in this video, we are going to install and have a quick look at Android 14 on our Redmi Note 4. Yes, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. And as you can see, the Android version, it's 14. So, without wasting more time, let's so take guys, it. This is the Lineage S21, which is based on Android 14. So, let's move here into About Phone. Here we go down below Android version. As you can see, we get this big Lineage banner. Uh, it says Redmi Note 4 Middle, which is the code name, and it's the Android version 14. This is Android 14 Easter egg. You can click here. Shooting stars. And uh, I think this is a very older version of that uh, Easter egg because it has that, uh, you know, the original one has that game. But yeah, here we go. This is the April build. Uh, as you can say 15th April also we get the latest 5 April security patch and vendor security patch 5 December uh, I think this is done to bypass the uh, Google checks. this is the home screen we also get some options to customize the home screen so as you can see icons home screen you have this uh, totally segregated uh, you know according to the uh, options recent and we also do have miscellaneous options with hidden and protected app support so you can just hide some apps if you like really want to also we can uh, you know change wallpapers there are some stock wallpapers from lineage here so these are the wallpapers available these are the default apps available and if you install place uh, the google apps g apps you get the play store too so yeah you can also use micro g if you want now let's see the features and customization available into settings here we have into battery as you can see battery usage we have battery light we have smart charging and you can you know just use a cutoff uh, thing and it will stop charging from that so it's a good thing if you use charging at night you know you put your device on charging at night then going down below into display uh, we have extra dim so you can protect your eyes at night because the default uh, zero brightness does not help anything then into lock screen privacy on uh, all that stuff ambient display and we do not have always on display obviously this is an LCD screen so it's not recommended also and going down below night light live display all the lineage features are here tap to wake and tap to sleep is also present so yeah tap to sleep works fine tap to work uh, tap to wake also works fine so no issues regarding that moving down into the system we have uh, buttons you can customize on screen navbar uh, let's see if the hardware keys work yeah they do yeah so the hardware keys work so if you want you can use the hardware keys then here we go keyboard smart profile uh, system profile sorry status bar you can customize the icons also use 4j icon instead of LTE. then gestures we have some quick gestures here uh, you can use one handed mode but i don't recommend like it's a very small device and date and system updates if you want to update it via ota you can get up updates here and you can easily update it then going back and yeah that is it like this is the lineage os so we don't get a lot of customizations but if you want customizations, maybe I'll try some other ROM and, you know, I'll put that up soon and we'll link it here. So, yeah, if you want that, you can go use that other ROM. But, yeah, for me, Lineage was basic. is totally amazing on this Redmi Note 4. So, guys, now let's move to the installation. And you can easily install the ROM via TWRP, but you have to, you know, make some... Uh, changes inside TWRP to access the internal storage via PC so that you can install the uh zips so yeah let's do it together and make sure you also check the instructions if you have missed anything you have to follow them again so don't worry about that now you have to back up your data first because you know sometimes it doesn't go your way and your device might not boot up i'm just joking your device will boot up softly so yeah let's power off your device uh, there is some issue with my power button because it's stuck like that so yeah just power of your device will be there now you have to boot your device into TWRP recovery mode so press the volume up and power button i hope my device boots because my power button is broken and also the volume up is not doing its thing so yeah you have to use these buttons if not i will just use the recovery menu to boot and i will show you 
let's meet in the recovery mode so guys this is the tilt therapy recovery i booted using the uh, advanced restart menu okay forget about that now let's move with the installation now first of all when you boot that your recovery you go to install choose internal storage and when you have those files files moving into internal storage via your pc you won't see any file here not even the tlrp folder file so for that what you have to do is go to advanced then open terminal and you will see this small terminal here uh, now you have to input this uh, so i will just input it mkdir dash p data media and zero so you have to input this and you have to press uh, enter now i have already done that so yeah and you have to press enter and then you will be able to access your internal storage uh, the files you will copy from your pc for that you have to go to install get a back go into data then have to move to that media folder and as you can see this is the folder i created and these are the two lineage os and nick g apps which i have moved so yeah this is the way you ha can access the first time now as you can see if i move to the basic uh, internal storage folder i can see all the files so i think this, it is a one time process so that's great you can see i put it back now and the files are visible so that's really nice so first thing is going to wipe advanced wipe dalvik cache system vendor and data you have to wipe this now go to install and you have to move to that that folder data and as you can see media and this is the folder you can move it to zero but i just copied back here and here lineage and you can also add nick g apps you will flash g apps right after a lineage os so don't miss that don't boot it up and then go again back into recovery and install and then report problems that's not the correct way so yeah let this uh, process gets finished so guys as you can see uh, the installation has been finished just click reboot system and we are good to go now while installing for the first time i think you have to format the data uh, so yeah i missed that just do that go to format data and click yes and you will be good to go so that is it for this uh, installation and quick review of lineage os 21 which is also based on android 14 for our redmi note 4 so if you guys like the video press the like button if not the dislike button and if you want more such videos on the redmi note 4 please let me know down below in the comment section so that i can make a lot more on that so yeah that's it and bye bye see you guys soon